Tephrochronology is a geochronological technique that uses discrete layers of tephra, volcanic ash from a single eruption, to create a chronological framework in which paleoenvironmental or archaeological records can be placed. Such an established event provides a tephra horizon. The premise of the technique is that each volcanic event produces ash with a unique chemical fingerprint that allows the deposit to be identified across the area affected by fallout. Thus, once the volcanic event has been independently dated, the tephra horizon will act as time marker. The main advantages of the technique are that the volcanic ash layers can be relatively easily identified in many sediments and that the tephra layers are deposited relatively instantaneously over a wide spatial area. This means they provide accurate temporal marker layers which can be used to verify or corroborate other dating techniques. Linking sequences widely separated by location into a unified chronology that correlates climatic sequences and events. Tephra chronology requires accurate geochemical fingerprinting. An important recent advance is the use of LAICPMS to measure trace element abundances in individual tephra shards. One problem in tephra chronology is that tephra chemistry can become altered over time, at least for basaltic tephrase. Early tephra horizons were identified with the Saxon Arvat tephra, forming a horizon in the late pre-boreal of northern Europe. The Vedharash and the Laka Sea tephra, major volcanoes which have been used in tephra chronological studies include Vesuvius, Hecla and Santorini. Minor volcanic events may also leave their fingerprint in the geological record. Hayes Volcano is responsible for a series of six major tephra layers in the Cook Inlet region of Alaska. Tephra horizons provide a synchronous check against which to correlate the paleoclimatic reconstructions that are obtained from terrestrial records. A pioneer in the use of tephra layers as marker horizons to establish chronology was Sigurd Thor Aronson, who began by studying the layers he found in his native Iceland. Since the late 1990s, techniques developed by Chris S. M. Turney and others for extracting tephra horizons invisible to the naked eye have revolutionized the application of tephra chronology. This technique relies upon the difference between the specific gravity of the micro tephra shards and the host sediment matrix. It has led to the first discovery of the Vedderash on the mainland of Britain, in Sweden, in the Netherlands in the Swiss Lake Sopensee and in two sites on the Karelian Isthmus of Baltic Russia. It has also revealed previously undetected ash layers, such as the Barobal tephra first discovered in northern Scotland, dated to California. 14.4 Cal. Car BP, the micro tephra horizons of equivalent geochemistry from southern Sweden, dated at 13,900 Karyakovarv Yars BP and from northwest Scotland, dated at 13.6 Cal. Car BP.